Hey, all right, everybody, and welcome back to Icarus. Last time, we managed to get ourselves some levels and get a refresher course in just how to play the game. Now, I'm looking forward to continuing our journey. We're going to work our way up to max level before hitting the newer content and perhaps even a bit of the open world. So let's get started. All right, we're going to go to the next mission Welcome in the back. chain. Lagos unit runs Icarus for the UDA, but most of this planet's still a blank on the map. The unit wants new drop zones, which means getting terrain scans and they'll pay for the privilege. Just set up a radar at three locations and come back alive. You up for it? I think we're going to attempt this one on hard. We'll get ourselves some nice XP and a little bit of a challenge. Let's see what do. All right, here we go. Let's see how this mission treats us. Ah, we're going through a tree. Well, I hope we can even get out. Jeez. Icarus ain't always gonna be so empty. The UDA wants exotics, and the Lagos unit's under pressure to scale operations up. Which means they need terrain data, and a heap of it. Fast. So grab the radar from the supply crate. The unit wants scans from three locations on your map. You'll be heading into uncharted territory, but that's exactly why we need the data. Think you can handle it? Well, either way, it's too late now. Good luck. Luckily, this second mission takes place in roughly the same area, so... We already know where we can get set up with a shelter without having to build anything. And we can focus on getting some good resources and levels until we get closer to the end time of our mission. So we'll go ahead and get the basic materials set up and any levels we can get from doing the crafting because crafting does net you some decent experience points. Okay, we have our stone structure set up. Now we need to focus on getting some hide. There we go, one bed, set our spawn point. I think I've made a mistake. Or not. Maybe it just can't get out of the water. That's fine. Yeah, that never mind, it's fine. <laughs> Ooh, there's a strong windstorm going on. All the trees are blowing over. Which is fine, honestly. It it would be a problem if they were at risk of knocking down my structure. However, we have our base currently inside this rock, so we're in good shape. And we can rest at night and have some free trees to chop down later. Well, it's the end of our first game night, so let's go ahead and rest until morning. And then we'll go hunting to get some more levels. I want to be able to have some upgraded equipment before we go. These scan missions tend to have a lot of attacks happening. And, uh, yeah, it'd be nice to have some better arrows, maybe even a better bow. Who knows? But, we'll see what kind of goodies we can get. Well, we just hit a very important milestone. We are now level 10, which means we can now unlock tier 2 progression. 
I've gone ahead and got ourselves an oxygen tank as well as the oxidizer, which will help us be able to go out and explore further from our base without the constant need to gather resources. But in order to build those things, we first need a workbench. So we're going to go ahead and make up one of those. Unfortunately, the workbench also requires shelter. So it's not going to fit in our little makeshift shelter, meaning it's time to build our first base. One thing to keep in mind is that anything that you put on to your base, including yourself, has a weight value associated with it. If your base is not properly supported with beams, at least for the wood ones, it will crumble. And we can also begin to place our walls. When you're doing that, pay attention to the arrows. You can also hold R and change the type of wall you're putting up. Bam! One window there, one window there. You cannot be here while I'm trying to build. Come here. You're coming with me, buddy. Yeah. And we'll take you apart later. You just relax. And of course, we have our crafting area. Um, we'll just put it here. One thing to note is that you can take your fire. If you pick it up while there's stuff in it, it will drop a bag, and you can just take all of those. But you won't be able to place your fire inside your house unless you have a specific fire. There's an indoor one that will keep your house from being lit on fire. Uh, or you can just set a small campfire outdoors. The next most important thing to remember is you're going to need a hammer in order to repair your house. Whenever there's large storms, you will need to be able to fix your walls or they will collapse. And if there's a fire, aka a lightning storm, or your campfire blows charcoal onto the rest of your structure, you need a fire whacker to put that out. Lastly, we might as well put in our roof. We are now enclosed. The more things you add to your base, the heavier it will get, becoming closer and closer to collapse. The roofs will also collapse if it snows, if you're in a cold region. Very not good. So, sloped roofs will crumble slower than flat roofs as far as snow is concerned. You do not want snow to accumulate. You can make a shovel, which you could dig the snow off your roof, or you can pick the roof up and then replace it down to remove the snow, which does take a bit of time. We're gonna want our oxidizer so we can start filling up an oxygen tank. It's very easy to tell what sulfur looks like. Sulfur is just a yellow rock similar to the oxygen that's blue. Bam! We are cooking oxygen. It doesn't take very long for this to fill up. If you have one of the store purchased ones, they do take a little bit longer, but they also have a lot more. Alright. Let's go ahead and sleep until morning. With that out the way, we'll go ahead and turn off this fire. And then we are going to head out to our mission site. With that out the way, we can go ahead and grab our radar. You will come across these little mounds, little mi deep mining deposits. I believe this is copper, 
But you can also find iron and sulfur and all kinds of good stuff like that. The really good ones to find are big pits of glowing goodness. And those you're going to want to mine before you leave the planet. Because that is your exotic material. And with those, you can purchase some really cool items in the money shop. Now, you don't have to spend real-world money for that cash shop, which is great. You can earn it all in-game, but it will take a little bit of time. So, the more of that exotic material you find, the better. Huh. That's something I've never seen before. What is that? Looks like a geyser. Ooh. Enzyme geyser. Well, that looks really cool. Huh. I've never seen one of those before. A vapor condenser on top of it to harvest exotics. Oh, that's really cool. I guess they added a new way to get exotics. Well, we're nowhere near the level in order to do that. Huh. At any rate, I think our mission is right on top of this cave that's right here, which is another way that you can get exotics. You go into the cave and you find little nodes of ores that are similarly shaped to this oxygen one here. There's metal and all kinds of good things in there. Right here you can see a copper. The only real downside to in the caves is the worms that spit poison at you. We'll take a peek at one real fast. There they is. Ah, buddy. Don't you shoot me. They're pretty simple to take out. You can walk up and knife them, or you can shoot them with your bow. They don't really take much effort to destroy. I don't know if they've added anything else in caves. It's going to be really cool to find out. Because it seems like a lot's changed since the last time I've played. You made it to the area. Get searching. Okay. Place radar. Bam. There you go. Stations online. We need you close to the scanner, Prospector. Oh, they thought about that and changed it. Okay. Radar needs supervision. Get close to Take those arrows back. Level up. These things give some nice XP. And we'll chop them up for the bones and the meat after we're done here. Is it? It says 41% complete. That's it. Looks like the unit's ready. I think it broke. We're going to start this fresh. There you go. 
Oh yeah, that Stations fixed it. Online. At least we're getting lots of experience points for this. Well, let's take some of this bacon back with us too, shall we? How much do we get for skinning them? Not bad. No! My piggies! So many animals. I wonder if it's just because we're playing on a higher difficulty. But every time I turn around, there's something new to skin. And then we'll get ourselves some more talents. Bam, there's our stomach slot. So now we can focus on combat stuff. Hey, another level. Let's go. And of course, another kill. Oh, we can make wooden gates now? Interesting. A decoration bench. Wow, there's so many things to make now. Well, it appears we have our first storm on the way. So we're going to go ahead and put some items away and get out our hammer. Now, I'm not sure that this storm is going to be strong enough to damage our structure. However, it does look rather windy out, so we're going to have to wait and see. There is always the risk that one of these trees falls on our building. But, if it do, we have our hammer and we can repair it. It doesn't seem like we're going to get much worse of a storm, so we're going to go ahead and make this new bow, which is awesome. So bam, and then we can go ahead and destroy the old one for the pieces. There is one campfire to keep safely indoors, however, so we're going to go ahead and make this one and remove this one. Now this campfire is rather large. It will not burn down your structure. However, that said, you can also, while it's lit, accidentally walk into it, lighting yourself on fire and your burning legs will light your house on fire. So just try not to put your bed too close where you wake up and accidentally step into it and you'll probably be fine. Well, we're all well rested. We've got some good foods. The bacon is actually going to give us a 15% increased experience gain, which is really nice. So, let's do this next mission. Oh, there's another geyser out this way. Lots of opportunities for exotics. Nice. Let's see what kind of enemies we have to deal with this time. Not sure what side they'll come from. Maybe we just go out on that right there? So we have some distance? That's it. Systems online. You're being paid oh, that's to too far? That radar. You'll need to get in range. Okay, fine. So far, so good. Where's that? I don't know. Sounds like a wolf attacking something. A bear cub? I, I didn't even know bear cubs were a thing. 
but it tried to get me, so... Feels bad? I hope that doesn't mean we have a bear coming. Oh crap, that's a bear. Oh crap. Whew. Okay. Sorry, Mama. That I I I get it. You're mad. The babies. I didn't do it. Well, I didn't want to do it. Put it that way. Okay. Looks like it's done. Might as well get the experience points from this. Well, looks like some trees are falling, so my base is probably destroyed. Yeah, it's probably destroyed. Let me get rid of this exposure real quick. You get searching. Okay. Well, seeing as there's no other place around this place, let's Good. do the thing. We're reading the station. It's active. I don't know if that animal was part of the mission, but better safe than sorry. Hi, buddy. I was just stuck again. I don't know what happened, but that functionality of this game was working, and it's honestly frustrating. Now it's not. It's got to be frustrating for them, too. Good. We're reading the station. It's active. No. No, it's not. It's not active at all. That's it. Systems online. Is it though? Well, you're done here. You did a Mission lot more complete. Than just survive. Nice. We got our reward. Now let's skin some animals and go home. I just heard a really odd noise that I've never heard before. What the hell was that? A moa? What? It's like an... Are they aggressive? They're like ostriches, but smaller. Like, uh... You look cool. Oh, are you dangerous? You are dangerous. Stop it. I was gonna be your friend! That thing is cool looking. It's like a little bit larger than an emu, smaller than a... Oh, it just gives us raw meat? Huh. Yeah. Larger than an emu, but smaller than an ostrich. I didn't know those creatures were in this game. I wonder what else they've added. Alright. One more mission complete. Bam.
And off we go. We got a difficulty increase for uh, our, uh, we got we got a money increase for the difficulty we got a bunch of achievements we seen a new creature that was a fun one yeah all right everybody and that's gonna do it for us here today thank you so much for stopping out i greatly appreciate you hopefully you're enjoying the content so far and you'll stop back out for some more but before you go, make sure that you get in on those giveaways as well as checking out the other media links, likes, follows, all that fun stuff. And then take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. Stay healthy out there. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.